Hi, and welcome to Nick Whale Motorhomes. I'm Andy, and today I'd like to show you around this 2023 registered Wild Axe Pulsar. With a length of only 5 metres and a width of 2.27 metres, it can be stored on your driveway at home, cutting out the need for expensive storage charges. Now, this particular vehicle is based on a 2.2 litre Fiat Giacato with 140 brake horsepower and a 9 speed automatic gearbox was first registered on the 8th of February 2023 and it's only covered 6,236 miles. This is a great little motorhome with a footprint not much different to that of an estate car. Now this really can be used as a day-to-day -day vehicle and again it's just a fantastic little thing. When we look around the exterior of the Pulsar you can see it's an attractive little van with a high roof allowing for good headroom. While we're looking around the exterior though, you can see how well the van is spec'd. It has an awning, an awning light, electric habitation step, a spare wheel, a gas barbecue point, reverse camera, alloy wheels. Plus, it also benefits from an underslung 25 litre LPG gas tank. This feature is very important as it takes away the need for gas bottles to be stored in the rear of the motorhome, giving you more storage capacity. If that's not enough, it also has something you don't find on many van conversions two habitation doors. This is great as it really doesn't matter which side you're parked up and it allows for an excellent through breeze on those few days of summer we're allowed each year. If we then consider the roof we have a solar panel and TV aerial. That's impressive in such a compact space. If that's not enough can we take a look inside? In the cab we have driver and passenger airbags, full cab blinds, steering wheel controls, a DAB Bluetooth media centre, reversing camera, cruise control and cab climate control air conditioning to mention just a few of the options. Also both captain seats swivel and are height adjustable. This helps to maximise the whole of the modest five metre footprint. The front lounge is particularly impressive in the adaptability of the layout. In this format it has two forward facing travel seats. With the cab seat swivelled it will seat four people in comfort with options for the coffee table or dining table which the poles live in the storage locker above the cab and the tops behind the two travel seats and slots into the floor just here or two in the lounge just here meaning that both can be utilised at the same time. If you want to relax both captain seats are extremely comfortable. You also have the ability to make this seat into a bench seat where you can kick your shoes off and put your feet up. Now when it comes to bedtime you have a good sized double that fits together in no time. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to show how this one turns into the bench. So I'm going to just slide these seats around at the moment, out of the way, and we'll pop this round round the same. Now what you'll see is a little handle just there. So we lift that up and then we just slide this down. Now there is a backrest which also becomes the center of your bed. And there's a place that it lives just in the kitchen, just here. As for now, I've just pulled this out. So all I need to do, there you go. There you have your nice big bench seat. So when we're now gonna turn it into our double, same again, we have a catch just here. That then slides this down. That pops down and then all we need to do is take the backrest. And you slide it into place. And there you go, there's your double bed. In the kitchen, we have a three way fridge freezer, a good slab of work surface. There's also a sink, a gas oven and grill combi, plus three gas hobs. There's also plenty of storage above and below. On the opposite side, we have a good sized wardrobe, which houses the TV aerial booster. Just behind this seat here is the allocated space for the backrest for the bench seat. Now, it really is surprising how you can fit so much into a compact space like this without it feeling too compact. But you have to say Wild Axe have managed it without too many issues. It's easy to see why the Pulsar is such a popular model. Two people could cook side by side in this kitchen and that's not always possible in the van twice this size. In the washroom, we have three different cabinets. One here, one here and another one just here so there's plenty of storage space but this one we have a mirror we have a drying rail just here wash basin cassette toilet toilet roll holder just there 
Now above we've got a skylight and of course on this wall we have the shower. Again, they crammed a lot in but it doesn't feel like it's being crammed in. It's a great space. The habitation areas are heated by a Truma gas and electric blown air heating and hot water system. Now that's situated here next to the 12 volt control panel. The Wild Axe Pulsar comes packed with features. It really is a great little all-rounder. This model has a TV aerial, DAB, Bluetooth media center, a reverse camera, and a gas barbecue point. Add this to the fact that it also has an awning, solar panel, alloy wheels, an oven, and an underslung gas tank, and you're left wondering how they pack it all in. The real beauty of this van conversion though is the fact that you can drive it on a standard driver's license. So there's no need for a C1. Also, because it's not much different in size to your normal estate car, you can take it pretty much anywhere and get to the places that larger motorhomes may struggle to get to. This is great if you're still working, but like to make the most of your weekends, or you enjoy getting to those out the way places. This motorhome can genuinely be used as a day-to-day -day vehicle. For a full list of features on this model, please refer to the specification list on our website, or why not give us a call and come and see it for yourselves. It really is worth a view and we look forward to hearing from you soon.